Hey guys, welcome back to the Fowler Family Farm Channel. I'm Mike, and today's video is going to be about us butchering our chickens, our meat chickens. We grew 21 meat chickens. Uh, you'll probably see it about right here. It took us 12 weeks to grow these chickens out, and they didn't do as good as I thought they were going to do, just simply because. Um, it just started getting cold and I think they were using a lot of their calories just to stay warm. So instead of just waiting to see if they'd get bigger, we went ahead and butchered them uh, at 12 weeks, even though they're kind of on the small side. We butchered some uh, Cornish Cross several months back and they got big in eight weeks. I mean, a lot of them were six to eight pounds. Uh, this group here, probably two to four pounds, um, just cause they, overnight it would drop below freezing and they had to use a lot of their calories to stay warm um, even though they were eating non-stop um, they just didn't get as big as i wanted them to um, we did have some friends and family come over uh, my middle son Braden, came over and helped you'll see tanya and braxton and me so the four of us and then i also had my cousin and his son come out and help and then my cousin's friend and his son came out and helped as well uh, so we had a lot of help that went really quick um, it took us probably, actually from setup to finish, clean up, it only took us about three and a half hours. Really a teaching video. We're not really good enough to teach anyone how to do this yet. We're still learning ourselves. Uh, we, we made some mistakes this time around. Um, and I just don't want to teach anyone the wrong way to do stuff. We did figure some things out along the way as well that helped us. Um, and I think you'll kind of see that. I think it's better to start at the neck and work your way down. Um, seemed to be a lot easier for us. Um, uh, I won't show you the dispatch of the chicken. Uh, when we put the chicken in the killing cone or the hugging cone, we're not going to show any video of that. Um, a lot of people don't like that. I'm not going to show it. So stay tuned and uh, hope you like the video. Today we're going to talk about our chickens. Uh, we got 21 of them in here that we're going to butcher today. These are Red Rangers. Um, and if you watched one of our previous videos, we were in an argument of whether these were called Red Rangers or Red Rangers. It's Red Rangers. She thinks it's Red Rangers. I don't still. Know. It's a red chicken and so, you eat it. Anyway, we're going to butcher these. Uh, we're going to show you our process. Uh, we're not really going to teach you anything because we're beginners because as well. Um, but you can follow along and watch us learn, learn as we do. Anyway, I'm Mike, Tanya. We've got a bunch of friends and family here today to help. So uh, stay with us today and you can uh, watch our process. And then just pull it. Here, 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 chickens go. Ah! You got to pull it a little slow so they'll move with you. Watch them walk. It's okay. Just hold his feet. All right. Hey, you want me to run with the knife? So, did you guys just get started in this part of homesteading recently? No. Um, we uh, we actually started probably five years ago in a town called Wellston, and it didn't work there. I mean, nothing was in our favor. We drilled for water. It was salty every time we drilled, so we gave up on it. Finally, we found this place. Uh, it worked out perfect, so we've been here two years. So that's how long we've been homesteading. So we're not good at it yet. We're beginners. Um, right here, that may be too small for someone. We had that problem with the Cornish Cross. So the Cornish Cross wouldn't even fit in that one. Big, big one? Yeah. All right, you get one more? One of, one of the smaller that one's ones. Okay. That one's not small. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, which one is this? Bella. Bella. Come here. Bella tried to bite this chicken. Mike, you might have to put Bella in. Somebody, will you go put Bella in? Please? I want to be out here with them. Yep, the breast goes towards the Bella, no. Yep. Do you mind taking no. Bella? No. Two still may, may still be two. I want to help Brody. Yeah, you mean put him inside? Yeah, I want to yeah, make sure Brody's doing it correctly. Come here. There you go. Come on. Come on. So right here? Right there. That's right where you're going to cut it. Right, is he cutting the first one? Sure. Yeah. Why don't we show, why don't you cut one and let him see it first? I don't know if he's ready to. No, he's not. <laughs> you mean never knife. done it before? No, he's, he just, no he's just going to help. <laughs> okay, you just keep a hold of the leg. Don't let them flop. They will flop. Yeah. He, is, he wants to be a part of this so bad he can't stand it. So he's okay to be on camera, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he knows. It's he's kind of ugly, but... 
No, I don't want to shit out. Cause I want, I want all this blood to go in my compost. So you don't want it in a trash bag? Nah, I want it all, put it all over here. Okay. Is that him in there? Yep, just set him in there. So what's the temperature? 150. Yeah, For how many minutes? You dump, right. dunk it? Yeah. Stick them in the water. Let's go. Okay. Look at that, Brax. That wow. My Lord. That's that a lot better than doing it nice. by hand. Oh, so much better. Wow. So, so much stupid. better. I hate that. It's just rubber, it's rubber work. nipples, it's man. Awesome. That's crazy. Yeah, that's all it is. It's crazy. It's fast work. Wow. That sure beats doing it by hand, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> and you only have to pick a few you know, off. Thank God for technology. Yeah, it does say that you only have to pick <laughs> a few off. Was it worth it, Mike? Here. These yeah. kids will be out of luck if technology <laughs> Definitely. How long did it take you normally? About five minutes, minutes. Five per, minutes per chicken. About five minutes per, per bird. chicken. Yeah. You did two in about. So then that right minute, there took about. Minute. Thirty seconds. You took two of them in about a minute and a half yeah. from boiler to. Yeah. Pretty much. That's yeah, it me says on. all you really have to do is right around the feet and stuff. It's a nice bird. Clean the, look how clean it got the feet. Yeah. Yeah. That's good though. That's awesome. All right, Tony, I'll you're to up. All that. We gonna fry hey. one up. No. <laughs> no. Nope. I love there. Is it going? Oh, it is going. I'm gonna wipe it down with that towel. That I towel hope that towel right it doesn't look like the light's towel. doing very much. Uh -huh. Hey, they want to know what's happening. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're like, like, hey, uh, what's going on here? here? You you hey, don't be mistaken. Those chickens will eat. Oh, they chicken love eating chicken. They love eating chicken. chicken, yeah. Okay, now you go. Okay. Yeah, chickens are like pigs. You can feed them anything and they'll eat it. You can feed them chicken nuggets and they'll eat them. I honestly think chickens should have been called pigs. They are. They eat all. They the eat time. more than pigs. They constantly eat. They're dinosaurs, man. Pigs yeah. should be called fatties. Yes. Yeah. Nope. Shorter one, but it's hmm. short. I don't it like gloves, but you can have. Tony, I thought you said this is what you don't want. Dude. The only bad thing about this is it doesn't have a shutoff valve right here to shut your water off. Oh, you said chicken. You can do that. So we just yeah. left Easy some now. here. It's just around the ankles. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Brayden. Hmm. Is your name Calvin Klein? You like my undies? <laughs> so much. Are you back to the future? I'll tell you though, man, it's so much better than doing it by hand. No doubt. Well, that's a pretty clean chicken. Yes, it is. And you get a nice little pile to put in your compost. Yep. That's insane. Right there. Movie? I wasn't. Even. What movie were you in? It's called Bringing Up Bobby. It's got Famke Jansen in it. All right, you ready, Mom? Right, your, wait, non-dominant hand. So you want to do the yeah. neck first? Pull it straight towards you. Come around. Come around. Pull it straight towards you like that. Okay, now pick up your knife. 
and right there, see that? Ba barely slice, slice, barely. slice, slice, until. Time to be careful because if you nick those organs, you're gonna okay, run. So you're burn. gonna run your hands right up along all that stuff, right up underneath there. Like, it's just, warm. It's very warm. Yeah. It's a little different than watching it done on YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> do you remember seeing them do this on YouTube? It looks so much easier. Didn't yeah. It? <laughs> Pull that all the way out. And you just cut the feet gotta, off? No, I still got to make sure I get the insides out. I was trying to teach them how. That's everything in there. Oops, I can, uh, that little spot right there I got to get right. Yeah. Yep. I got church tonight. Those are like not feathers. They're more like hair. Yeah, there's some on this one too. They're like, they're like a little curly headed. Look. Yes, it's like beach fuzz. That's like hair. My that is weird. Stomach. I've never seen that. These chickens have straight up hair, bro. Oh, yeah. Those See that? Those are feathers. Yeah. <laughs> Those are hair. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so after watching all that, uh, it's 24 hours later, and now we're going to package the chickens. Um, we're just going to put them in hot water. It's about a, it's going to be about 190 degrees. That'll shrink the uh, bag over the chicken, and there'll be a straw on the top of that that'll just bring out all the air as well, the heat will. And then we just zip tie it at the top, uh, and then you freeze them, put them in the freezer. So I'll show you a couple of those, and we'll be done. Okay, I do want to show you all the the chicken in the uh, ice bath. We put them in an ice bath for 24 hours um, and we put some seasoning and stuff like that in there to just let it soak in there for 24 hours. This is half the chickens in this smaller ice chest and then the other half is right here. Uh, we also keep all the feet, most of the necks as well for chicken broth. In it. Okay, I want to show you how we package these chickens. This is probably one of our bigger chickens out of the out of the 21. It's probably around maybe four pounds so we put it in this shrink wrap bag okay then we put the straw in I don't use the straw that came with these bags it's rubbery and I just don't seem to like it, it doesn't work very well with me so put the straw down in the cavity twist the bag zip tie it This is about 190. Oh, first I squeeze all the air out of it I can. Stick it in there for about five, eight seconds, five to eight seconds. Pull it up. Then I stick it in there for about another five seconds. You can kind of hear the air coming out of it a little bit. Okay. Bring it over here. Pull the straw. Squeeze the bag as you do. And then zip tie. Pull the zip tie. It's ready to go. Put it in the freezer. Okay, guys. That's a wrap. That's 21 chickens. And some leftover feet. And necks and stuff like that as well back up a little bit uh, there was a there was definitely a, a few small ones uh, but I would say most of them are probably three pounds 
Um, one thing I did do, I didn't do it on the first three. Um, after about the first three or four, which I stuck those in the ice box, um, I started drying them because I don't know if we should really freeze these chickens if they're just wet. So I did start, I laid them all out and let them dry, air dry, plus I pat dried them. Got most of the water off, I'm pretty sure. So I think that's going to help them a little bit. I don't think you would want to freeze um, the chicken with it still wet. Okay guys, tell me what you think. Leave some comments down there for me. Let me know if I did everything about right. Um, hopefully I did. Uh, anyway, if you liked the video, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, help us grow, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.